Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be opening here another Innistrad Crimson Vow Commander deck. Now this one has actually been quite a while already. I opened up the Vampiric Bloodline, which was the antithesis to this particular deck in the Crimson Vow set. And the thing is, I did buy both simultaneously at the same time. I just never had the time to open up this and I just found this laying around and I figured I better build this, you know. I was just so much more fixated on vampires, but I did buy two commander decks, so I am going to be opening up both of them. So very excited to see what we have in this particular one here. This one is definitely a very powerful deck. It is uh, focusing on the spirits. Uh, it is also a white blue, which is a very powerful combination. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, open up this set and see what's actually inside, or this particular commander deck. I'm very excited to see uh, what we have actually in store for us here. Simply just pull that out, and uh, we have over here our deck, which is inside. Uh, I believe there is like nothing else in here. It's empty. But uh, you have this nice cover card here, or cover art, which you put it in. And again, you can display one of these boxes really nicely. You have these nice counters you could pop out and use if you wish to, of course. Uh, honestly, I don't really care about that. It's not something that I consider to be a major priority. Sorry about that, just knocked over the camera there. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to put everything aside here, put the box aside. Uh, but I'll show you guys a bit of an example of how it would look. So once you put it back, you could simply keep it like this, seal up the bottom of course, and then just display it on your shelf. And it's really nice. I mean, this is just how commander decks have actually been designed anyway. They always have the commander just in front like so. And you could really just have something uh, quite amazing to display up on your shelves as a collection of uh, every commander deck that you've actually bought. So uh, definitely really well designed there, really nice. But uh, let's just see what we have in this one. So over here, this is the box we get. Um, we simply open up like so. And we can take out this plastic cardboard here. Uh, doesn't really have any relevance whatsoever. Uh, it's just to fill it open so it doesn't move around the deck. Uh, aside from that, we have our kind of like a small booklet which shows uh, different things. I don't believe this is actually the playmat or anything like that. So no, magic wouldn't actually do that. You could just use your own playmat. It's just the rules of uh, magic, which is fantastic, of course. And I believe. It is telling you how this deck actually works as well, so if you are uh, willing to, then definitely give that a read as well, that's fantastic. But we have over here a uh, very nice life counter, uh, just a really basic one, but you know, it's definitely still very effective, so uh, whatever the case may be, you can use your own dice, you can use this. This is just fantastic because it's like a card that you just fit in with your deck box anyway. Uh, just another nice addition to the deck, but... I uh, just really wanted to quickly show you guys that we do have like a proxy, which is a uh, much harder cardboard. You obviously can't play with this, but you can use it as a proxy for your commander itself. Very nice, of course. It's uh, definitely a lot like different than the other stuff, uh, than regular cards, of course. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks here. It's something that I kind of like as a new addition to the commander decks. I do know that a lot of people actually aren't a fan of this, but you know, I really don't get it. It's really amazing. So honestly, uh, I'm all for it. You know, I'll just uh, keep it as is. But with that being said, let's now get our two decks open up here. Uh, this is what we have. Very nice. It's been uh, bundled into two separate uh, packaging. So we're just going to open up the first half and then we'll open up the next half afterwards as well to follow up on that. So firstly, let's take out this plastic and uh, let's just see what's inside. All right, so our first card here is our Millicent Restless Revenant. This is obviously our main commander for the deck. Uh, it is quite expensive to summon out, actually. I mean, this is a seven cost, essentially. And uh, you know, like commanders, when they die and go to the command zone, for it to come back, I mean, it's an extra two cost, so it's gonna be hard to bring it out the second time. So it seems like you really wanna keep this protected on the board for as long as possible. Uh, we have Donal, Herald of Wings, another mythic, fantastic. I believe you can technically switch uh, different commanders, though if you switch to this one, you'll only be restricted just to just uh, blue. 
which is uh, definitely unfortunate there, but you could always alter the deck whenever you want. But those are two foil cards here uh, that are actually uh, of interest. But aside from that, uh, please definitely tell me uh, what these cards actually are, or at least uh, their relevance in Commander. I would like to know more about the staples involved uh, with Commander itself, the different cards available. I know this one's not too bad, Exile Target Artifact or Enchantment, uh, which is a great disruptor or single target removal that you could use uh, for your deck. Aside from that, I'm just taking a look here uh, just to see uh, what we actually have that could actually work. This is another single target remover. Uh, which is definitely fantastic. It's even a one cost and uh, you could also gain life equal to its power. Oh, the controller that is. Um, but that's okay, you know, that's fine. Uh, we also have here a counter target spell. Very nice. So yeah, it's definitely interesting to see a lot of different cards and you could kind of like grasp which one is good or bad just by simply reading the cards but even so for someone who's just getting into the game of magic itself it is going to be uh, quite a challenge so i definitely do uh hope that you guys could actually let me in more on how commander actually works uh, because you know just getting into it it might be a little overwhelming you don't know any of these cards uh, you don't know any combos and even though i come from a different tcg background um, it still will be pretty intimidating to get into an entirely new tcg like magic over here for me so with that being said um, it's just all going to be a game of figuring out uh, what's good and what's bad. Plus, uh, what I like about Commander decks is just being able to get so many cards that are potentially staple cards uh, in this deck to accumulate cards for your collection, which is fantastic. So, uh, we're just going to keep going and seeing what we have here. So, obviously, a few more other interesting things to go with but again I'm just not familiar with all these individual cards uh, just really nice here though uh, just to see the variety of artwork that's actually been involved in making all of these cards uh, definitely fantastic here it's unique uh, as I said earlier I come from a Yu-Gi-Oh background so with that being said uh, it's all just uh, quite a breath of fresh air to be honest uh, something that's different uh, something that's interesting in its own way as well. Uh, you can see the art is definitely a lot more on the realistic side of things. But uh, yeah, it's just fantastic uh, just to see everything that is uh, different about this game here. So very keen on actually getting into Commander. Um, just uh, got to find some time to actually uh, set up a few games to play against uh, people I actually know. So yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. And that's honestly one of the reasons why I'm deciding to get into Commander. Uh, I know a few mates who are already just uh, veterans in Magic and Commander in particular. And, you know, they've just been encouraging me to actually get into it. So figured I may as well just uh, give it a go as well uh, while I can at this particular point in time. But uh, yeah, this has just been really fun experiences, just opening things up. Aside from that, thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you again next time.